Back on Good Morning Hawaii, time for your Island Sports Update. The final Saturday of August brought so many things to see in your local look at the scoreboard. How do you want to start? How about Rainbow Warrior football starting off the 2023 season on the west end of Nashville to face an SEC program on the rise with the Commodores of Vanderbilt. Second season now for head coach Timmy Chang in Music City looking for payback from last year when the Commodores, they won easy like Sunday morning 63 to 10. But a big focus this fall for the Warriors, the run and shoot offense. Worked well for Timmy's playing days. Bringing it back, is it going to work? First and goal here, Braden Shager looking to respond to an early Vanderbilt touchdown, finding 6-1 Stephen McBride, the Kansas transfer with the first Warriors touchdown of the year, nine yards out. Maybe McBride had a good idea wearing that number seven. Is that foreshadowing? Second quarter, the Warriors going forward on fourth and four. Don't go for it. Throw the bomb. Oh, okay, go for it. The, yeah, that one worked out. Yes, just the way they drew it up. 45-yard strike streak to Stephen McBride makes it 21-14. Moving ahead to further action. It's over on the left side for Pofele. Ashlock all by himself. He falls into the end zone. Easy pitch and catch. Three yards out, making things interesting. Now just down two scores with 11 minutes to play. Warriors with the ball in the red zone one more time. Shager, right side, Ashcock with the little breaks. Oops, excuse me, sir. I'm going to go this way. And into the end zone. Seven down? Really? With five minutes to play? So you're telling me there's a chance? How about this? So high drama. Looking over to the right side. Shager picked off. And the Commodores fall on the ball. And that ends their best chance to come back. But still, a noble effort as they fall 35-28. They come home for the home opener. They'll get ready for the Stanford Cardinal Friday night. Back indoors we go now. Day two of the Hawaiian Airlines Rainbow Wahine Classic just wrapping up. Back here in Manoa, the Wahine coming off of a five-set win against Northwestern, facing their first-ranked team of the season. They seem unfazed, though. They took the first two sets against number 13, San Diego. Some fight in the Toreros still, though, as they, they, they took the third set and play on. The story of the day, though, a nice balanced attack. Not one, not two, but three. Hawaii hitters chalking up double digits and kills. The Wahine take the win in four. Final score, 27-25, 25-22, 18-25, and 25-22. The Wahine close out the classic tonight, taking on number nine, Oregon, at five o'clock. I can't even talk about the fight right now. Only thing on my mind is Lahaina Maui. This one is for you guys. The shout out from the YNI native Max Holloway, dedicating his first stoppage victory since 2018 to the people of the Valley Isle. A highly anticipated UFC featherweight bout, Holloway taking on the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung. This morning in Singapore, first two rounds, the zombie coming out hot, getting in some crucial chin jabs in what would later be declared the final fight of his career. Though grounded in the second round, he was able to extend this one to round three, but he was just throwing in everything he had. Holloway capitalizing on the reckless hands, and here we go. The right hook heard round the world. Holloway about to secure his 21st UFC victory. They called knockout coming just 23 seconds into the third round. Mana, mana, we use the word mana, it's a spiritual power, and it was here tonight. The people of Lahaina, Lahaina, Maui are still going through it. You know, they're true warriors. They're enduring. They're enduring the pain right now. And me being me being able to give them, you know, something to cheer for for 15 minutes to get a finish like that really meant a lot. Holloway's professional career is now 25 and 7. That's his 21st UFC win in just 28 appearances. And that's been your local look at sports and island sports.